Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the next track guide and setup. We arrive in China. So we just done with Japan just a few days ago, and now we are heading to the uh, the other Asian country in China. Beautiful track and uh, nice to drive in this game as well. And very quickly, thank you to all channel members, patrons, and also channel subscribers as well for well subscribing and bringing us to where we are today leave a like subscribe as usual uh, leave a comment if you need any help or if you just want to share your support uh, i'll appreciate that now china a beautiful track um a lot of downfalls needed here and a few variations with the setup but we'll get into that shortly let's get into the track guide first uh, before you start your lap um, well you just want to avoid taking that yellow sausage on the inside otherwise it will unsettle your car you will lose time down the straight on the exit use all the curb make sure your car is only half on it otherwise you lose time by bottoming out and then into turn one right before the 50 meter board or just after that uh, depending on how you want to take it or that white line on the pit exit that's where you want to start to turn in into turn one and in qualifying you can keep this almost flat and then you just need to lift and keep applying throttle all the way through and now in here of course i applied a little bit of brakes you want to sacrifice this turn turn two i think yeah sacrifice turn two a little bit so that you open up the next left hander downhill here so how good you take the right hander is going to determine how much speed you can carry here and the sooner you can accelerate out of this corner the better time gain you're going to get down into turn five the end of sector one and on the exit again just follow the line keep your car as straight as possible minimal distance to the next braking zone which is going to be right at the 100 meter board uh, or also the start of the white and red curb um, maybe even 75 meter depending on how you want to brake and then brake heavy and then tuck the car into the apex on the entry just like this uh, avoid taking the curb because that will unsettle the car and affect your exit stay tight but don't take the curb and on the exit let the car run wide straighten out the car as soon as possible then bring your car over to the right hand side again so that you open up the next left hander here all the way flat and let's just pause it here again you want to make sure your car is slightly to the left like i have maybe even to the middle you want to prioritize the exits of the next few corners right you have to think ahead so here as well in qualifying is just a downshift to fifth gear or fourth gear and in the race maybe a little bit of braking and now before the next double left you want to break right at this exit uh, exit road that you see on your right hand side on the curb that's your reference mark here and then just down to third gear if you need to or you can keep it in fourth on the exit of the first left hander avoid taking that right hand curb on the exit it will unsettle the car and you will lose time down the next straight stay close to it but don't take it and then flat out here in fourth or fifth gear take the exit curb if you need to only half on it and then we arrive at the end of sector two with another heavy braking zone so bring your brake bias back forward and brake around 75 meter board where the thin and the thick curb on your right just starts to meet so that's a good reference mark there as well and then down to third gear maybe even second momentarily for the apex i keep it in third and just take half of the curb here otherwise the car gets unsettled apply just a little bit of throttle to gain the momentum but not too much if you apply too much the car will get unsettled on the exit and keep applying throttle all the way straighten out the car as soon as you can we get a little bit wobbly but stay tight on the exit and um, well on the exit once you're on the straight here i'm pausing it here to show you there's a little bit of a bump here if you stay on this line so ideally you can stay a little bit more to the right maybe half an inch or one inch or maybe cm 10 cm 5 cm more to the right there you go you can see the car just wobble a little bit so you want to stay a little bit more to the right to avoid that bump and just take a breather for a moment and now into the next heavy braking zone you want to be braking at the 100 meter bot or as you go the advice go under the advertisement board over your head or the red and white curb starting here this is your reference for braking and then you can take a little bit of the entry curb but not 
uh, mount it, right? So you can just touch it a little bit. It helps to rotate the car a little bit. Third gear or second gear up to you. On the exit, up shift to third again. And then make sure you get a good exit. It's all about the exits here. Straighten out your car and pick out the throttle as much as possible. And now bring your brake bias down. After you pass the 50 meter bud or that white line that you'll see slightly ahead of this 50 meter mark, that's where you want to brake and uh, down to fifth gear or even fourth sometime in the race and uh, throw the car in uh, to the next left hander but avoid that inside sausage curb similar to how you start your lap on the exit stay tight to the right hand side to minimize track distance to gain a few more thousands for your hot lap and that is it a hot lap around the shanghai international circuit now let's head into the setup very quickly if you would like to check out other setups uh, the link is in the description and in the top right i will link it to the playlist containing all the setup guides and also the f124 setup explained video now let's get into the best part as usual setup so 35 35 wings uh, quite unusual around here but uh, you'll see why uh, keeping it at 35 35 it's sort of a good level amount good amount of downforce around here you will need quite a bit of it but you don't want to go too high uh, you can use a little bit more front wing if you'd like to um, but for me at least i didn't need to you can use lower rear wing as well for race uh, for qualifying you keep it higher if your park firm is turned off in your league race or your career mode race then you know feel free to adjust for the transmission 80% on throttle for most of the corners because there's a lot of long, long corners here in China. So you want to make sure the car can keep rotating without understeering on the exit. If you go too high on the on throttle, the car will give you better traction initially, but you may find yourself understeering on the exit. So around 80 is the good mark here for high speed corners, 90 or 100 at slow speed exits. Off throttle, you can adjust it to about 20, maybe 15 if you want to to get a little bit more stability under braking in high speed corners in the race engine braking keep it at 100 it will allow you to recharge more ers and stops the car faster as well suspension geometry wow <laughs> the usual right uh not right right left left that was in 23 man uh, this is f124 so all the way left uh, for everything important to have the camber maximum negative it's going to gain you a lot of time in those long corners similarly for the rear toe in for the front toe actually uh well uh you can increase it a little bit if you want a bit more bite into the corner the car will respond much sharply uh, but it may cause a lot more oversteer mid corner uh, sometimes it can even cause or <laughs> more understeer uh, mid corner depending on how much uh, you crank the steering wheel or how much throttle you apply nevertheless let's move on to the suspension as usual um, you know like i say uh, there's a baseline that 41 suspension is pretty good everywhere uh, but i'm starting to experiment more and more with it right so i've arrived at 38 front suspension to give it a little bit more front grip at the slow speed corners which seems to help and at the same time it's still pretty stiff which uh, keeps the car quite stable in high speed corners. Along with that, 24 right height seems to work just nicely um, with this amount of wing and suspension. And same story for the rear suspension. Um, around 10 to 16, 17, 18 rear suspension seems to work just nice to absorb a lot of the bumps in this track with 50 right height. Uh, the lower you go, of course, on the right height, the more grip you get, but uh, you will definitely suffer a lot more from the bumps. So around 50 is a sweet spot for me here and gives you good traction on the exit as well. Um, Anti-roll bars, I start with 21.15 usually, but I've gone up to 21.21. Seems just nice around here. Uh, allows the car to coast nicely in the high speed corners, which is something you really want to do here. And now moving on to the brakes. Quite important around here. So make sure you reduce your brake bias in the MFD for slow speed corners and increase it back to around 56, 57, maybe even 55 for heavy braking. Uh, that's going to gain you a lot of time, maybe overall throughout a lap that can help you to gain one or two more tenths if you are being diligent with your brake bias usage. Uh, feel free to experiment with it. Uh, the minimum I've used is 52 for all high speed corners 
except turn one at 50 just works sometimes and finally tire pressures maximum tire pressures uh, to give you the minimum amount of overheating reduce overheating at all costs in the race because there's a lot of high speed corners the tires will heat up quite quickly and also keeps the car more stable in high speed and responsive um, maybe in qualifying you can drop the pressure a little bit by half psi but yeah uh, that helps you get a little bit more grip and that's it i uh, hope you enjoy this and uh, i will leave you with the full speed hot lap to enjoy till the end take care everyone stay safe and i'll see you in the next setup which is gonna be miami i think i'll see you there